In the beginning of 2015, the first quarter, it felt as if the art market rang the bell at the top of the market. And since then, the market has begun a slow but gradual correction or slide. It's nothing serious, but certainly I think that buyers are looking a little more carefully and thoughtfully. That certainly Trump uh, and the presidential elections that are coming up, but even more so Brexit, really, at the moment, is making people concerned enough that they're thinking twice before any large purchases are made. The pound has fallen sharply in the last week, and people, as we approach Brexit in the next 10 days, are taking a very cautious approach. What we're seeing now, I think, is a return to quality, um, a race for quality rather than a race for mass consumption. Um, you see that by a lot of dealers switching back to uh, showing some more modern arts and things that have exceptional provenance, that have a real history, artists of, of real quality and, and of, lasting, of a lasting nature. You know, we had this massive trend towards abstraction, uh, especially, you know, 2012, 13, 14. That shifted back towards figuration and painting the past couple years. But right now, again, like across the halls here on both floors, you don't see too much of either thing. What you really see is a focus on the highest quality work. That's something that Art Basel has always been particularly strong for. Well, Art Basel is the gold standard of art fairs in the world. There is no place better and no place more important to show. And I think that people always bring out their A game. They put aside the best of the best to show here because it is the center of the art world. And galleries are the center of the art world. And it's an opportunity for education and acquisition and all sorts of other very important aspects that truly make you not just a buyer of art, but a collector and a connoisseur. And that's what Art Basel offers.